my dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you all. Today, Thursday, and in our gospel we have the disciples in the upper room. They are afraid. They have a lot of questions. Some of them, they have seen Jesus. But for some, it's difficult to believe because they have not seen. Is it a gossip? Are they just creating this whole thing? And suddenly comes a voice, peace be with you. The gospel says that they are paralyzed. They cannot recognize the voice in the presence of the one who is standing right there in their midst. How many times in our lives we are paralyzed by our fears? We are full of questions. A lot of things we cannot understand. Where is God? Why is God allowing all of this thousands of people dying every day millions of people sick around the world billions of people who cannot even go outside and enjoy life anymore and yes we question yes we have our own doubts. But in that uh, upper room, Jesus tells his disciples, it's me, come, touch my hands. And you know, the opportunity is there for each one of us. If we have some doubts, it's okay. The disciples had doubts. But we need to hear the voice of God telling us, Peace be with you. And the same God is telling us, Every time we attend the Mass, it is me. Touch me. Receive me. This is my body. This is my blood. Explaining is difficult. But that's the mystery of our faith. We embrace it and we try to live as best as we can. And we know that whenever we receive that body of Christ, the invitation for us is to become what we have received. And then we become that presence and the words of Jesus being proclaimed in the world by our mouth, peace be with you. So the invitation for each one of us, let us try to remove all these negative feelings that we have in our hearts. It's becoming more and more difficult for all of us. We are becoming more impatient. Let us try to embrace every day as it comes. Let us try to embrace our lives with the difficulties that are thrown against us. Embrace because we know that tomorrow will be a better day. And embrace because God promised, I will be with you until the end of the world. So even when it is difficult, let us try to hear the voice of Jesus telling us, peace be with you. And now, may Almighty God bless you and protect you today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.